Hi everyone, um, I'm just working on my day in the life project today. Um, I had already taken some pictures on Friday, February the 26th um, because I had a couple of changes that were happening after that week. So I've already done my photos and um, I'm using Coco Daisy's treetop canopy collection um, for my documenting, but I also wanted to use um, the journaling cards from Ali Edwards um, Day in the Life kit from this year. Um, so I took the digital kit and I actually went and color matched the um, titles of these cards with the colors that are in the Coco Daisy kit. So you can see that they match exactly with the Coco Daisy kit. Um, the colors in the original kit were kind of like slightly um, more bold and warm toned in color I found so um, I just wanted to make sure that the colors were um, the same and I also added journaling to all of my cards and um, I did this all on paint and Microsoft Word I did not use any Photoshop I don't have a Photoshop um, been debating about getting it but I just haven't pulled the trigger on on the um, monthly commitment yet so um, if you'd like to see how I created these with without using Photoshop, then just keep watching. So I have a couple of things open here on my screen. The first being the uh, digital cards that came in Ali Edwards' Day in the Life 2021 kit. Um, the second being my paint program that came free with my computer. And the third being this uh, free printable file from Coco Daisy. Um, it's available on their website and each month they come out with this um, card that has like the color swatches. If you're not using one of Coco Daisy's kits, um, feel free to use any kit that you might have. Um, just make sure that you have some sort of digital um, color swatch paper that you can use either um, some icons maybe like a chipboard sticker set um, but I'm just basically taking a screenshot of that um, color swatch card there so that I can uh, paste a section of that um, into my uh, paint canvas here um, so that I can eyedropper tool that in. So you'll see that I had opened up one of Ali Edwards um, digital cards um, I chose the one that has today on the top. You want to make sure that the color kind of matches the um, end color that you're going for because the graphics on the journaling card sometimes have a bit of an outline um, in a different color around each of the letters or each of the graphics and things like that. So um, it just helps in case you don't get all of it to have a color that's approximately the same. And I'll show you an example of when I didn't get a color that was um, close in, in terms of the color tone. And so here I'm just taking my eyedropper tool and selecting that navy blue color that's on top of the uh, Coco Daisy swatch sheet. And I'm just filling in each of the letters there. And here you can see I'm zooming in and filling in all of the lines. And, and you'll see what I mean with the... Um, with the, the, the bit of the outline around the digital elements here. So you'll see that there's above and below um, those lines that are, that are navy blue, there is a slight remainder of some light blue around the edges. So I'm just going in with my paint tool and just painting those in um, and filling in all of those. Basically the fill function allows you to fill um, any one like any one area that's the same color throughout it will fill that entire area however um, if there's any outline that's in a slightly different color even if it's just like a tone off um, it won't actually fill in that area so that's why I'm having to go back and uh, fill them through manually here um, and this video is actually slowed down so it didn't actually take me this long to do in real life so after I'm done filling in all of the spots that I want to be navy blue um, and I'm satisfied with how it looks, I'm going to zoom back out and then hit the select button, which is one of the tools on the top there. And um, 
I'm going to be dragging in the right side of this canvas to make the canvas size the same size as the journaling card started out with. So for a three by four card on this paint canvas, um, it's 900 by 1200 pixels and you can see the um, pixels depicted um, in the bottom of the screen there. And so if you want to make it exactly 900 by 1200 pixels, just you can zoom in and just um, make sure that you're dragging in that concise amount. Then I'm just zooming back out, it looks fine. So I'm going to click save as. Make sure you don't click save because it will actually save over the original digital um, journaling card. So I'm just saving as and then selecting um, my file folder that I want it to be in. And that's one journaling card done. Next, I'm going to show you what happens if you start out with a journaling card and the color isn't really quite one of the same hues as the um, end, end result of the color that you want. So let's say I want this color to be um, that bright coral color um, in the Coco Daisy swatch card. So um, I'm just zooming in. And you can see after I fill in the word today um, that around the each of the alphabets, there is still a navy blue dark outline that I can't get rid of and it would take forever to try to fill in each one of those spots as the coral color. Um, so if I were to print this out right now, um, it would still have that dark blue edge to it. Um, so that's not really very nice to look at. So um, here I'm just going back to the digital pocket cards that came in the Ali Edwards digital kit and I'm selecting one that's a bit closer to the end result color that I want. So this um, card here that's reddish orange looks like it will be great to be filled in with a coral color. So after I open up the um, file in the paint program, I'm just going to drag out the um, edge of my canvas here uh, so that I have room to paste my swatch card color sheet. And then just using that eyedropper tool on the coral color. Um, you have to remember that each time you open the um, Word program in a different file, um, it will lose the eyedropper um, color that you have. So that's why the swatch sheet that you'll see me pull the colors from is always on the same canvas as the journaling card that I'm trying to edit. I think in Photoshop, it's probably easier um, because you probably can have layers, but I don't know enough about Photoshop to confirm or deny that. So um, you can see when I'm zooming in here that um, even though there's probably like a dark reddish orange outline around all the letters here, you can't see it because it's so close in the colors that we're going for. So the coral is quite close to the original um, colors of the digital journaling card. So when you're picking your journaling card to color, uh, make sure you're picking one that um, is maybe like the same color family or like a lighter hue than the color that you're going to end up with and you'll find a bit more success in that way. Otherwise, you can go back and color each of those individual pixels. It just might take a bit longer time to do that. So now I'm happy with how my journaling card looks. So I'm just going to zoom back out and drag my canvas to be the 900 by 1200 pixel size. And that's another journaling card done. Same as before, just make sure to click the save as button instead of the save button so that you don't overwrite the original file you were working on. Next, I thought I'd show that you can color the around here um, digital card in the same way. So here I have the um, blue around here card. Um, I dragged it into a um, paint canvas and then I'm using the eyedropper tool again on the dark navy blue color and just uh, filling in all of the spots um, around that around here title and then dragging my canvas size to I think this is 1200 by 1800 um, pixels sorry, that's 1800 by 1200 pixels. And then just clicking save as uh, to save my card as a new file. And then just working on a coral colored card as well as kind of like a pistachio green colored card in exactly the same way. 
So now that we have all of our journaling cards, I think I had about 10 different colors of the today card and then three different colors of the around here card. I'm going to show you how to add journaling into um, these journaling cards on Microsoft Word. So you'll see that I took all of the um, different files that I had and dragged them all into a Microsoft Word document. And then I'm just zooming out to resize the pocket cards and rotate them so that um, I can fit as many as possible on one piece of paper. So um, in the end, I think I managed to fit uh, six of the three by four journaling cards onto one eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And then you can fit three of the four by six cards onto one of the letter size sheets of paper as well. And to move them around, I've found that it's easier to, um, you can right click on them and under the um, wrap text uh, function, if you select square, then it will enable you to drag around the um, pocket cards instead of trying to get them all aligned um, with text. So um, I'm just going to be doing that here. For some reason, one of the cards turned out, um, one of the three by four cards turned out bigger than the other one. So um, you can adjust the dimensions um, just in the corner there where it says picture format. Another thing to consider as well that I didn't think about before I started this whole process was um, sometimes it is easier to type the text in when the cards are horizontal and then rotate them to fit the um, letter size piece of paper later on. So um, I'll be doing that um, as well. Another thing to note is that you might want to outline your journaling cards so that they are a bit easier to cut out later on. Um, so if you go to the picture format or format picture um, section of your um, menu bar, um, you can click on the icon that shows like a paint bucket um, and that icon says uh, line and fill. And if you go under line, you can select a uh, solid line and, and then just make the color of your line. If you want to make it a bit darker, um, just so that it's easier to see, you can, or you can make it lighter so that if you um, accidentally trim off a bit um, off the cut mark, then, then it's not as noticeable. But um, that just gives you an option of um, adding a line around the journaling card so that later you can trim it a bit easier. Next, I'm going to be adding a text box to my journaling card. And to do that, I'm going to go under the main menu and um, click insert. And then under that, there should be um, a, a function that says text box. And so um, when you click it, you can um, see, I just chose like a simple text box. And from here, you can drag it around to center it on your journaling card. Um, make sure that you selected the square wrap text function for both the journaling card as well as the text to enable one to go on top of the other. Otherwise, they'll want to, like if you try to drag one on top of the other, um, it will try to shift it down on the page. And you might have to bring your text box to the front. Um, and to do that, you just right click on it and um, select bring to front and it will bring it to the front of the journaling card so that it's not hiding behind the journaling card, if that makes sense. Sometimes the text box, when you uh, insert them, they'll come with like an outline around the text box. So um, if you like that, you can keep it in. Um, otherwise, uh, make sure you right click on it and select um, on the bottom, there should be an option to format object. And then just make sure um, that under the line portion that you have selected no line uh, so that there isn't an outline uh, around your text box. And then once you're finished with your journaling, you can um, select both the text box as well as the journaling card um, by pressing the shift button and then clicking on both of those objects. Um, and then you can right click on that to group the two items together so that when you're dragging the journaling card around, the text box will also follow it um, and it will stay centered where you um, put it when you um, rotate the journaling card. So here you'll see I've completed the journaling for all 12 of my Today Pocket Cards. And I use the font Courier New um, to give it like a typewriter feel just because I use typewriters for most of my other um, journaling when I'm not using digital products. And I use the font size 11, but you can pretty much um, switch up the font and the font sizes however you like. 
and you'll see that I've left three of the around here journaling cards blank. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing with them. I might not use them for um, this day's uh, day in the life project. Um, maybe I'll save it for a future project. But I was able to fit six of the three by four pocket cards onto one letter size page and the three four by six um, pocket cards fit on one page as well. Um, so now they're ready to be printed out. So there we have the printed out uh, today cards that I made. Um, and I printed out the two sheets of the three by four cards. Um, as well as the blank four by six cards that I had. I might add some typing in later on, or um, maybe just, um, I have these newspaper clippings that I could add as well. Um, and just to give you a comparison, this is the printable sheet that Coco Daisy had on their website and just comparing the colors. Of course they are the same because I use the eyedropper tool for those. And then um, just to compare, this is an actual piece of paper, um, pattern paper from the Coco Daisy kit, and um, those colors match as well. Um, so I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, then just um, leave a comment down um, in um, the section below. And um, if you're interested in finding out how I am going to put together my Day in the Life album, then um, stay tuned because I will have a video up for that um, sometime this week. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching.